Hello friends, this is Sam Cheney reporting for WeaponizedNews.com. Today is October 16th, 2016. And remember that to criticize Obama in any way is racist. Remember they keep bringing up in the mainstream media that if you're part of the birther conspiracy, then that's inherently racist. Well, let's take a look now at some more WikiLeaks revelations from the Podesta emails. Reported out of Zero Hedge. Podesta emails reveal Hillary planned Obama hit for cocaine use in 2008 campaign. Well, isn't that racist? Any criticism of Obama is racist, according to the mainstream criminal lying media. Let's get to this report. Remember in the second presidential debate when Hillary stole Michelle Obama's line saying, when they go low, we go high. It was hard to miss it as the mainstream media replayed it over and over again for several days after the debate. Let's take a listen now to this ugh, disgusting criminal. When I hear something like that, I am reminded of what my friend Michelle Obama advised us all. When they go low, you go high. Plagiarism. Look, if this were just about one video, maybe what he's saying tonight. Real quick, remember all that? We're, she plagiarized uh, Michelle Obama. Remember that ridiculousness? Uh, saying Melania Trump plagiarized in her speech? You didn't cite Michelle Obama. Where's the plagiarism charges? Just more ridiculous. I had to throw that in, continuing. Would be understandable. But everyone can draw their own conclusions at this point about whether or not the man in the video or the man on the stage respects women. But he never apologizes for anything to anyone. He never apologized to Mr. and Mrs. Khan, the Gold Star family, whose son, Captain Khan, died in the line of duty in Iraq. And Donald insulted and attacked them for weeks over their religion. He never Sports apologized Sharia law. to the distinguished the Khan, judge Khan father supports Sharia law. who was born in Indiana. But Donald said he couldn't be trusted to be a judge because his the judge supports were La Raza. He never apologized to the reporter that he mimicked and mocked on national television and our children were watching. And he never apologized for the racist lie that President Obama was not born in the United States of America. He owes the president an apology. The racist lie. But new Podesta emails show that a better slogan might have been, when they go low, we go high. Despite repeatedly claiming the high road, the following email from Nira Tandon, head of the liberal think tank Center for American Progress, clearly shows the Clinton campaign organized a below-the-belt hit on Obama back in 2007 over his admitted cocaine use. Perhaps even more important is Nira's scathing assessment of Hillary's instincts, which she describes as suboptimal, something tells us that could get Nira in a bit of trouble in the not so distant future. Of course, here's the email. You mean pissed? Got held by who? Hillary? God, her instincts are suboptimal. Pretty typical, though. I would not be surprised if William Jefferson Clinton, WJC, told him to do it. Just as I'm pretty sure Mark Penn didn't do this cocaine ring against Obama without some higher up approval. I am past about one thing. I suggest doing that at 4.30 and got held. Well done in the tweet. 
The email references the following exchange between back in 2007 and MSNBC when on MSNBC when Democrat strategist Mark Penn repeatedly brought up the word cocaine causing Joe Trippy to narrowly lose his mind. Let's take a listen to that clip now. Isn't this totally racist to criticize Obama for his cocaine use? Welcome back to Harbaugh. Obama has pulled six points ahead of Hillary Clinton in Iowa, according to the latest Newsweek poll. But with three weeks left to the caucuses, can he hold or even widen his margin? Is the Hillary campaign due for a shakeup? And can Senator Edwards survive if he loses in Iowa? Big questions for our three big, big guys. Come and join us right now. David Axelrod is chief strategist for the Obama campaign. Joe Trippi, senior strategist for the Edwards campaign. And Mark Penn is the senior strategist for the Clinton campaign. Gentlemen, you are the big shots. You are the star fighters of this coming, in fact, new century. Let me ask you, uh, David Axelrod, are you satisfied with the explanation from the Hillary Clinton campaign that the comment by Mr. Shaheen about drug use by your candidate was not something coming from the top. Look, I have no way of knowing that. They, they say that, and we have to accept them at their word. I'll say this, Chris. When you, when you launch a negative attack, and you say that this is the fun part of the campaign, you send a signal down the line to others in the campaign that leads to this kind of thing. And so uh, whether or not there was an instruction to Mr. Shaheen, I think it's important that a signal gets sent right from the top of the campaign that this isn't encouraged, that it's not the fun part of the campaign, that we ought to be lifting up this country instead of trying to tear each other down. Are you serving notice by your comment right now and your comment in the spin room that any further negative attack or suggestion by one of the Clinton people will come from Hillary? Well, I, I'm not suggesting that, Chris, but I, w I will say this. Unless there's a strong, consistent signal from the top, unless we refrain from saying things like uh, negative campaigning is the fun part of the campaign, you're going to have that happening. There's, there's sort of, it's a sort of a wink and a nod thing. Everybody down the line says, oh, well, this is what this is about. So I would think that it would be important for all the candidates to send a strong signal to their troops that uh, this isn't where we're going to go with this campaign. We're not going to take it into the gutter. Mark, given the fact that this has reached into the spin room today, and there are several questions to David Axelrod about whether his candidate, Senator Obama, has in fact shared or sold drugs, do you expect the Republicans to use this against the Democrats no matter who wins the election, the nomination fight, I should say? Oh, I don't know. I think, although I'm very disappointed by David's comments, I mean, you know, he's trying to rewrite history here. Uh, it is his candidate, Senator Barack Obama, on the front page of the New York Times, who called Senator Clinton disingenuous. He started a wave of direct, personal, negative attacks. And the senator finally began to reply very substantively that his plan leaves out 15 million people. Uh, whereas hers covers every single person, and he kept bringing up an Iran vote that he, in fact, skipped. So I'm really disappointed. I think this uh, thing with Billy Shaheen, he's stepped down. He was never a part of uh, this campaign. Did you uh, tell him to step down? The senator made that clear. Uh, did no, you tell he him to step down? down? It took 24 he hours for him to do it. Do you think he did it in time to no, stop this from no. becoming a story? I think this story's over. I think we made it uh, very clear yesterday that we didn't condone it. We weren't, we weren't part of these uh, uh, of the story that he that he uh, went on with, and we we absolutely uh, apologized. And the senator went on the tarmac of uh, the airport as we were all coming down to this debate, uh, and apologized uh, personally because this is not part of her campaign. And I think right. it's very important. She has been running a year-long positive campaign in which she's out there talking about ending the Iraq War and health care for all. These comments that are coming out of your campaign from different directions, and I'm not sure how they're coming, and nobody does, but going after his uh, perhaps youthful drug use, which he admitted in his book, and going after comments he made as a student, in, as a kindergarten student in fifth, at the age of five, I should say, do you think those are appropriate shots at the opponent, or are they below the belt? Well, I think we've made clear that the... the related to cocaine use is not something that the campaign uh, was in any way uh, raising, and I think that's been made clear. I think this kindergarten thing was a, a joke well, after he just Senator... Did it again. He just did it again. This kindergarten thing after this, what the Senator did... They just what literally... This, excuse said, me, no, no, no. Ex excuse no, no, Mark. Excuse, excuse me. me. This guy's been filibustering on this. He just said <laughs> cocaine <laughs> again. It's like... I think you're this saying is cocaine. Why, no, no. I, I don't you know. Just, I think uh, you're you know, saying I think that. there's something okay, wrong. So there you go. No. Joe Tripp. Complete fools 
complete nonsense. Cocaine was admitted by Obama, but it's racist to criticize or even disagree with Obama. And if you criticize or disagree with Hillary Clinton, you're sexist. So there you have it, launched by Hillary Clinton being racist against Obama, according to the mainstream media. In fact, new polling data discovered among Podesta's emails from 2007 even reveals that the Clinton campaign tested the cocaine hit with potential voters. Unfortunately, no one seemed to care about the issue, but the Clinton camp decided to take it for a spin anyway. On all the different issues, polling results, Obama described his former use of cocaine as using a little blow. And of course, that scored the lowest. Well, an impartial media would call out candidates for claiming to take the high road while working behind the scenes to organize below the belt, belt hits. Somehow, we suspect that Hillary will get a pass on this one. Well, yeah, of course she will. And the link will be in the description below this video to this report. And you can see how hypocritical these people are. Because, once again, any criticism of Obama or even disagreeing with him is racist. And any criticism or even disagreeing with Hillary Clinton is sexist. Complete and utter insanity, hypocrisy at its highest level. These people will stoop at nothing. They don't even know what the high road is. Do your own research about this very important 2016 presidential election, about the Podesta email leaks. There's so much data being dumped that it's a, I'm having a hard time covering it. Everyone is. But do your own reports. Do your own tweets. Inform your friends and family about the lies and corruption of Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party and the collusion with the mainstream media. Subscribe to this channel, speak out, and take action.